Well, it is the spooky season and there's a really great opportunity to check out 350 Farms in your Cold Lake because their Haunted Woods is open right now and some very exciting events planned for that. Casey Marshall from 350 Farms is joining me now. Casey, thanks for chatting with me today. Oh, thanks for having me again. I really appreciate it. Well, let's talk about the Haunted Woods. It just sounds so spooky. And I know there are specific events, including tomorrow, uh, Friday, we have some an event that there's some tickets available for. So tell me about that. Yeah, so our Haunted Woods, we have different theme nights. Uh, tomorrow night specifically is what we call Flashlight Night. This is where your party gets one flashlight between all of you. And you get to navigate the woods um, with a flashlight. It's a little bit different as far as how the actors are going to scare you and what they do, because obviously they can't hide from your flashlight. Uh, so it just it's a little bit different of a vibe than our other other nights that we do for the remainder of the season. All right. And then what's planned for Saturday this weekend? So Saturday is one of our regular entry nights. And when you kind of come to the Haunted Woods, uh, I think the first thing that people should know is that we are a family friendly venue. Uh, we do not aim to be super gory or super, uh, we're not into horror, uh, things like that. So this is something that you're coming to have good old family type fun. It makes an awesome date night. You really find out what your date's made of. <laughs> um, your kids can come in. We always say, you know, use your discretion, but we have kids as young as four come in that are super into Halloween. Uh, but mostly we see school age children from eight, nine and above come with their families it is in the evenings. It is at night. It is getting colder here in Alberta. So we do recommend everyone dresses for the weather. It is quite popular. So we do have a little bit of a wait to get in because we, when, once you're in a haunted woods, we want you to feel like you are one of the only people that are in there. And so we don't overcrowd the trails and things like that. So it's a very intimate experience once you're in there. Tell me a little bit about what happens when people enter these woods. I know you do say it's family friendly, but you still want to keep them a little bit on edge too. So tell me yeah. what it's like going through because it's a large property too. Yeah. So this is um, the Haunted Woods is set up on a little over a kilometer of our private trail system that we have here. And when you come into the property, you will enter in and it's kind of a, you have to imagine we're a farm. So this is a low light um, we do a lot of lighting by candlelight uh, with flameless candles, a lot of solar lighting. Uh, so you do be prepared for a very dim environment that kind of sets the mood. When you enter into the haunted woods, you're really going through a story. Um, you're trying to find you know, the safe space, the way out. You're going to go through cemeteries, a pet cemetery. You're going to go through an abandoned playground. You're going to go through some abandoned house scenes. Um, you have some decision points along the way too. You can exit early or you can proceed to what we call the shadow void. And that is our new maze for this year, um, which is a definite hit. And we are looking to expand that. And then from there, you can go to the apothecary um, and then you end up some more decision points. You can go into the abyss or you can go back to safety. So there's... Um, a lot of fun to be had. It's not just let's follow it through and we come to the end. You really get to choose your own adventure and how you and your party are feeling. And if you can't make it this weekend, Casey, there is one more weekend you guys will have next Friday and Saturday as well. Um, and that is uh, basically going to wrap up after that. So tell me what is planned for the weekend following this one. Yeah. So next weekend on Friday night is an adult only night. This is an 18 plus night. Uh, we still don't have any touching or different things, but the way the actors will scare people on adult only night is a little bit different than with children. There is no option for glow sticks on an adult only night. So they are going to give it their maximum effort. And then our finale night on Saturday, this is where we, we really kind of pull out all the stops. The actors are dialed in uh, to how and when they like to scare people. Uh, and it's just a really fun, um, a really fun time all around with that. So how many actors do you have involved with this roughly, Casey? And are they from the Cold Lake area? Yeah, on any given night, there is 10 to 15 actors out there in the woods at various points. And they also move. So this isn't, they don't just go and scare someone and get back in their spot. They actually move around. So you, even if you go through multiple times, you're never going to get the same experience twice. Um, and they are from the local area. We do employ a lot of teenagers um, from some of the local schools and then uh, some other folks that that come and want to we have some people that work for some uh, 
really well known that you guys would know agencies and, and organizations in the community. People just love Halloween and they come and work for us. And so we do employ everybody. We don't do any volunteers because part of what we do at 350 Farms is really that economic development. And we want to make sure that anything that we develop or that people are going to continue to develop are viable for the future um, and keeping our rural communities going. Casey, this sounds like an amazing experience, especially for those who really want to get into the Halloween spirit. If anybody would like to buy tickets for the next couple of weekends before you close the woods up for another year, where can they find those? Yeah, so uh, all the tickets are done on our website. It is www.350farms.ca slash haunted woods. You can also find the links on our Facebook page uh, at 350 Farms and lots of other information about what to expect, wait times, bathrooms, if you can get beverages or food, all those types of details. Awesome. Well, thanks so much, Casey. I mean, really appreciate you guys doing this. It's a, a great feature to have uh, for this time of year. So good luck with the next couple of weekends and we'll chat again soon. No, thank you.